The disc filter can effectively remove suspended substance in the effluent and enhance the durability of the downstream filtration membranes. After filtration, the effluent becomes filtrate and passes into the ultrafiltration system for the second stage filtration. When large amount of impurities have been accumulated on the filtration element, the water flow direction will be changed and the impurities will be washed away by the filtrate. This process is called backwash and is conducted every 30 minutes to 1 hour during the operation of the disc filter. The filtrate from the disc filter will then flow into the hollow fiber ultrafiltration membrane for second stage filtration. The ultrafiltration system uses pressure and thin membranes to effectively remove the particulate like colloidal material, bacteria, most viruses, etc. in the filtrate. Ultrafiltrate is formed after the filtrate passes through the hollow fiber membrane of the ultrafiltration system. The ultrafiltrate then passes into the reverse osmosis system for the third stage filtration. The ultrafiltration system also needs regular backwash. Osmosis means water flows from the low concentration solution into the high concentration solution via a semi-permeable membrane. Reverse osmosis occurs when the high concentration solution is pressurized so that water flows from the high concentration solution through the semi-permeable membrane into the low concentration solution. While only water molecules and small amount of elements can penetrate, various impurities and harmful substances will be completely blocked by the reverse osmosis membrane. The reverse osmosis system can, therefore, effectively filter out viruses and a variety of toxic chemicals. The filtrate passing through the reverse osmosis system is called reclaimed water. Nowadays, the reverse osmosis technology has been widely applied on desalination process using pressure to cause water molecules of seawater penetrating the membrane and form fresh water.